Well, it all began a little over two years ago when this all started with more than 200 nations staking their claim to be top of the world. Well, 32 made it to the finals here, and after a tournament spanning the better part of a month, featuring endless football on almost every day, it is a straight fight now for the title of the world's best. It has been a great festival of friendship, of sportsmanship so far, and one, we hope, which will end with a flourish. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. We stand for the national anthem of France. That was impressive. Match that. Well, over the years, one hears so much about what players get up to or feel like in the minutes leading up to this biggest of all games. Perhaps some of those things best not mentioned, but I wonder what honestly they are thinking now. Well, when it's this big, Peter, you're having an extra word with yourself in trying to ensure you make the best start you possibly can. Do your bit for the team without any mistakes. We've seen that tense edge during the lineup, so start as you mean to go on strongly. So what are we to expect in this final? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Matarazzi. Zambrotta. Cameronese plays it over to the other flank. It has gone out. It's coming on the right now. What's on? And it's played forward. Looking for a decent ball in. Makaleli. Holds himself at it! Brave effort, total commitment. A good attempt. The ball was at a, a lovely height, too. Cannavaro. Zambrotta. Cameronese. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Hoists it forward. It's a bit promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. France making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. Yeah. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. 
Cannavaro. Matarazzi. Italy still without an attempt on target. Out to the right. Gets away from his opponent. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Gattuso. Perotta. Just brushed off the ball there. And he just whacks it away. Tries to switch the play. Pirlo. waiting for it up to meet it well, he couldn't get the direction he needed well if you give him something to attack in the air he's most likely to to get there it's what he does best Rota. Matarazzi tries to get it forward quickly. Abidal. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, terrible pass. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Perotta. Matarazzi tries to locate someone up front. Abidal. Balls out on the left now. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Goalkeepers to claim. Cannavaro. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. That's been drilled forward. Zambrotta. Across the field it goes. Tony. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Dallas. And back to base. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. Gets on the end of it. Oh, they did so well to set it up. They use the 1-2 to great effect in working their way through the middle, and a little more look there and they may have been celebrating. Averted for now. Plays it out to the wing. Ribery. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Well, with it being a final, caginess is to be expected. Each obviously wants it badly, but neither wants to find themselves behind them, and that's the issue now. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Italy clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the other... Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Totti! Goal, Italy! Could that be the start of something big? Italy have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Gets the better of his man. Got a sight of goal here. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Makaleli, Turan, Ribery, Perota, Cannavaro, What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions, and the risk has been deservedly rewarded. That's a throw. Makaleli. And once more, they can't get through. Dinks one in, nice little chip. Gets good distance on it. And that has been clubbed away. Perotta. Zamprotta. Cleared without complication. Oh, it is over the line. Ribery. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Cannavaro. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pirlo. And it's played forward. 
Back to the keeper and try something new. Tries to stroke it through. He's pinged one through here. Zidane. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and it's 1-0. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Sanyol. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Totti. Pirlo. Played out to the right. Zambrotti. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Tony. And that has been cleared. Oh, it's a mistimed tackle, and it is a penalty. And this could turn out to be one big kick of the ball. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? And he's kept it out. Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game, man. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Gattuso, great strength, too strong for his opponent. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it is a narrow lead, but they are clinging on to it right now. Just a few moments from glory. He's got through. That's gone a long way up and away. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Crutch need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Perotta. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. Piero. Tony. France have it back and they can go again. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Dallas. Abidal. Hoists it high. One good cross, maybe the last chance. That's a pop! Straight at the keeper. Well, from a good position, the keeper really ought to have had to work harder. So that's it. It is all over. Italy are on top of the world. See the joy, feel the pride of the world champions. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.